Hey everyone, welcome back. Hope you're having an amazing day and thank you so much for joining me. So in today's video, I wanted to share a look that I did recently for my pre-wedding photo shoot. It was just very, very simple. I took like hardly 20, 25 minutes to, you know, get this look and it has the most trusted and tried products that I really love and I know uh, look great in pictures and in person because we were doing this photo shoot outside okay so we didn't have like fancy lights or anything we were using like the 6 a.m. early morning sunlight to do our photos and I wanted to keep it as natural and you know low maintenance as possible I didn't want to hire someone like really professional to just get our photos taken you know what I mean because we've been together for a while and we do have a ton of pictures and we just wanted to do this one for like keepsake and just call it like our pre-wedding photo shoot or whatever so this look is extremely simple it makes use of the minimum amount of products I kept the eye look and face really natural simple and although I wore this look for a pre-wedding photo shoot doesn't mean you have to wear it just for that purpose this is an extremely long wearing look so even after I was done with the photo shoot outside in the Sun when I came back and I looked at my face my makeup was still intact so this is like at least three hours after being outside in the Sun so if you're going for a date night or like a you know evening function I wouldn't suggest you wearing this look uh, I would suggest darkening it up a little bit so I already have my morning serums and moisturizer on my face I also sprayed some of the uh, benefit hangover 3 in 1 priming spray with coconut water just to give me a little more hydration and the best thing I think on the day of my photo shoot was this benefit pore um, professional primer I don't use primers that often with my um, foundations but this was just like a godsend for me so I use about that much so this is uh, an amazing primer to just block out any pores and it made my foundation go on pretty smooth and it just gives you like the most smoothest texture on your skin it just smooths out your skin um, and I feel like that's the main reason why my foundation went on as smoothly as it did I just straight away went in my foundation and it was my Estee Lauder double bear foundation um, in my previous video I did <laughs> I tend to close my foundations really tight so they don't move while I'm traveling so it needs some effort um, while opening it. The technique that I use to apply this foundation I actually learned it from a youtuber called Stephanie Marie and she has a very amazing like tutorial on how to make how to use this foundation without it looking cakey so I'll link that down below for more information like this is amazing like when I followed the technique that she said I actually ended up using less foundation and getting a better look and coverage uh, that I usually do you know what I mean so I used like just the teeniest amount so I used about that much and I took some of this started dotting on my face and like I said in my previous video this foundation tends to like set and now I'm just bouncing my dampen beauty blender and also what she said is when you use your dampen beauty blender like when you dampen it and when it grows in size you immediately wring it out you like cover it with a paper towel and just make sure you get most of that moisture out so it's not depositing it back um, on your skin and mixing in with your foundation and then the finish isn't like you want I was not going for a full full coverage foundation on that day because I wanted it to look as natural as possible you know I didn't want it to look like proper makeup cakey or whatever so I was okay with some medium coverage but if you are someone who really wants to cover like major things on your face you can build this foundation on your face so that's about it that's the finish I'm going for I want my skin tone to be evened out I don't want it to be looking like makeupy or cakey or anything and everything on the back of my hand is gone and that was enough I would say that was about half a pump this foundation doesn't have a pump and that's the only gripe I have with this foundation that it doesn't have a pump to evenly dispense it every time I'm using the foundation next we're gonna go in with concealer and my trusted and tried and true concealer is different beauty pro filter instant retouch concealer and this is in the shade 240 and I use the tiniest amount because I don't think I need major coverage on my face there's just some like darker areas right around the corners of my eyes and maybe some like remnants of blemishes which mostly I got covered with the foundation but if I if you needed extra coverage that's what you can do so I just take the wand out of its tube and whatever is on the wand is what I use so just the tiniest amount and if I need more I can always go back but I you know I try to use the least amount of product that I can get away with I have started getting these lines under my eyes I don't know if they were there and I never noticed them 
but i started getting these fine lines under my eyes so i have to look up and blend my concealer otherwise my concealer tends to like settle in my under eye lines i mean it's normal to have lines under your eyes but if i can like make it look smoothened out why not right so that's the base done i'm gonna lightly set my face with some Laura Mercier loose setting powder. I kept this tiny thing in my bag when I went out and just when I, I felt like I was getting a little sweaty and it would give like a flashback in my photos. I took the tiniest amount of this and just patted it on my face and to just like get the shine away. So I got this new brush from e.l.f. It's called the e.l.f. Small Taper Brush. Never used this. This is the first time I'm using this and Emily Noel raves about this so I wanted to see what all the fuss is about. So I've taken like the tiniest amount of this powder on the brush and I'm gonna look up and set my under eye concealer. First I'm patting it in and then just brushing whatever excess I have. <laughs> I don't know I like my elf blush brush to do the same thing so I don't know. Then I'm gonna just lightly dust this all over my face to just set everything in. I don't need a ton of powder on my face I don't want my face to be looking powdery or whatever but even if it does even if you use a lot of powder don't worry in the end we're just gonna use a setting spray to just spray it all over our faces and set every inch of our face so next thing I'm gonna go ahead and do my face so for my face I used my Emily edit palette I absolutely love this and if I'm ever in a hurry where I need to get a quick look I just use this palette because this has everything right it's great for travel and i feel like i'm almost gonna hit pan on this uh bronzer shade which is amazing so i'm gonna take my bh cosmetics angled brush i'm gonna go in this courage shade and like bronze up and contour my face i'm not like going for a very very harsh contour or um, too much bronzing i just want to add some color back to my face sometimes in pictures when you look at a certain angle i know like contouring looks totally cool and it's the it thing to do but in pictures when you're looking looking sideways that contour can really look very harsh and who wants that right but sometimes for pictures especially if you're shooting in like a professional environment you sometimes need to overdo things because the lights can actually wash you out and you just look pale as a ghost you just need to think about what environment you're gonna work with and you know do your makeup accordingly okay so the next thing is um, again an elf brush this is the flawless face brush Elf brushes, by the way, are amazing. I don't think you get them in India, but keep an eye out for them if you do, because these are amazing. I have been using elf brushes for a long time. They've been washed multiple times and they haven't lost their quality. Okay, the next thing is a uh, blush. I'm going for Joy from the same Emily Edit palette. And I actually took my blush a little higher this time. I just wanted a lifted um, look. For highlight, I'm using the e.l.f. blush brush and I'm going in the shade Gratitude, which is not like a blinding in your face highlight. It just gives the most natural look. So yeah, loved using that. And I'm just gonna take it on the tops of my cheeks right there and then just blend it in like the sides of my face. So it just leaves a really natural sheen without looking like too bright and you want to be careful with highlight especially if you're going to do flash photography because it can give you a lot of flashback i'm also taking it like right under my brow bone i've not done my brows yet and slightly on my nose i i barely have any product on this brush all right so the next thing is brows and my absolute favorite thing at the moment is this elf brow pencil it's for two bucks comes with a spoolie on one end and the waxy tint side on the other there was a sale going on and i bought like four of these pencils because i absolutely love these you remember me using a lot of like maybelline brow define um last year i guess and before that I love that but I think that was more expensive than this one and this is like two bucks for the same quantity and quality or maybe even better quality so I'm just gonna like define and fill in my brows nothing crazy um, and if you want you can also set in your brows with some clear brow gel but I didn't have anything on hand at that moment so I did not do that let's move on to my favorite part the eyes for my eyes I use the Anastasia soft glam palette and I use like three shades from this palette okay let's get a blending brush uh, this is by BH cosmetics and I took the shade burnt orange and sienna and I just like mixed these two up a little bit and took it in my crease I did not use an eyeshadow base on that day and 
this still worked great on my eyes so i'm just gonna take this right in my crease again i did not go for any crazy multiple eyeshadow look you know i kept it really really simple just wanted it to look as natural and like clean and bright as possible and like i said in my previous video i just take it a little above my actual like crease area so just a little bit like above this so on this bonish area my eyes are not exactly hooded but it's just a little you know inching towards hooded eyes but if you do have hooded eyes and you want it to look more open this is one trick you can do just take it a little above your actual crease area so when you look straight at someone they can still see that eyeshadow on your eye that's it that's the color it looks really natural just a little more defined and that's it then i'm going for this flat eyeshadow brush and i'm going in this shade called glistening it's like a goldeny satin shade and i just want to like swipe this all over my lid area just to add brightness and make my eyes look more open really basic really simple and if this looks too bright for you don't worry, in a second we'll just blend everything and it'll just give the most natural sheen on your eyes. And then I'm just gonna take like a bare blending brush. This has absolutely nothing on it. And just take this right in my crease to just blend any edges that might have developed while we were applying that shiny shade. Okay, that's it. That's the eye, that's it. For eyeliner, the best thing I found is this one by Morphe. It's their felt tip liquid liner. This is just the most amazing eyeliner I've found. This stays on my eyes put. This stays put on my eyes for the entirety of the day. If I don't want to take this out, it won't go anywhere. It doesn't transfer, it doesn't leak, it doesn't like flake off. Nothing. Nothing of that sort happens. I'm not creating a dramatic wing or whatever. I just tend to do a slight wing in my normal day-to-day -day life so that's what i did um for my photo shoot as well because you know it's a reflection of what you are in your real life whatever <laughs> okay so i was able to get it to be almost even my wing liner which is pat on the back i did get a little bit on the bottom of my lower lash line but we'll take care of it in a minute for mascara this is what happened with me you guys know i love my l'oreal voluminous superstar mascara right it has a primer on one end and the actual mascara on the other and this mascara just gives me the most lengthened and voluminous lashes so that's what i wanted for my photo shoot i went to ulta and i saw this and i was like yes i need that i got this and turns out this is in the shade black brown not black black brown so i did not end up using this guy instead i ended up using the cover girl super size and mascara i'm really loving this nowadays again an emily noel recommendation i'm just gonna curl my lashes before i apply some mascara and i know uh, in my previous video i said that i was planning on using false lashes to just like glamorize my look a little bit but we did our photo shoot at 6 30 in the morning I woke up at 5 to do my hair and makeup. So I was in no mood to put on lashes at 6 in the morning. And I felt like just with the mascara as well, my eyes looked really good. And I actually can't remember if I did one or two coats of this mascara. I'm just going to do one today because I'm not going anywhere. I'm at home recreating this look from my photo shoot, reliving memories. And I think this is a pretty decent mascara. It doesn't flake on me. It stays on my lashes. It gives me a decent lift and curl and length. So I actually have no complaints. I'm going to do some mascara on my lower lashes. I'm not going for anything crazy on my bottom lashes as well. I just wanted them to be coated and just give them some definition. okay that's never happened to me i've never dropped a mascara wand before this obviously takes more time than i'm talking and doing my makeup probably took like i don't know what time is it i've probably already taken more than half an hour to do this much and the last thing we're left with actually is lips i'm using my physician's formula muru muru butter with spf 15 i did not read the spf part before great and this is in the shade acai berry it's like a 
deeper pink shade and this has so much moisture packed into it it's like a tinted lip balm but it's a lipstick and i did carry this lipstick with me in my purse because it did need frequent touch-ups and as you can imagine with any like lip balmy kind of lipstick it's so like moisturizing and smooth that anything you eat will actually take it off of your lips so you do need to frequently touch it up so that's it. Makeup wise, we're all done. I just need to set this all in place with my Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray. And let me tell you, this is a godsend. Like, I've definitely heard about this product before, but recently when I was in Ulta, uh, I saw this near the checkout counter and I was like, sure, this is like a mini size. Let's just try it out. People have raved about this for so long. I want to see what the fuss is about. This literally locks everything in place. Like, nothing moves. So I'm just going to like spray myself with this and lock everything in place even though I'm not going anywhere and I'm just gonna take my beauty blender and just like push everything in so that everything sets naturally and doesn't look like it's sitting on top of my skin you know so after that for my hair I actually curled my hair I just wanted to give it some more like oomph you know so I'm gonna quickly maybe not quickly but I'm gonna curl my hair Put on my dress that I did for my photo shoot and be right back. So this is my final look guys. This is uh, the dress that I wore for my photo shoot. Uh, I had my hair up in curls like this. Uh, I did loosen up the curls a little bit. Don't like to have like really tight defined curls. I like them to be effortless and loose and like beachy in a way. And this is my dress. I got this like vintage very cute looking dress from Amazon. So it has these three quarters of sleeves. It goes like just below my knees. So it's like nice and frilly. It looks really good on the body as well. It sits really nicely. Nothing's like too tight. If you watch like Mrs. Maisel on Amazon, this is like the, the vibe that I get from this dress. This, this look is perfect for any day that you want to put together a quick look using minimal, like bare minimum products. And yet it looks really simple, natural, and just like when you see yourself in the mirror or if someone sees you in person, it doesn't look cakey. So I absolutely love this look. I think this is going to be like one of my go-to looks if I'm going out during the day for any kind of event or, you know, anything. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, you guys know what to do. Give this video a nice big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And yeah, hit that notification bell if you haven't so that you're updated every time I upload a new video. Thanks guys for sticking around and I shall see you in my next one. Bye.